Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Last episode, we, uh, in the last episode, there we go. Molly and I got the battery. She has the battery and she went to go do something. I have no idea what she's doing. And, uh, now Bree, Clementine, Kenny, and Ben are in the classroom. Kenny and Ben are trying to figure out a way to get through the armory door. Pause this real quick. And... Vernon and Krista are trying to figure out how to get into the nurse's office. Let's go see if they need help. Oh, crap. <clears throat> so it looks like they already got inside, but there's walkers there. Nice. Oh, crap. Now they know I'm here. Headshot, 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 and headshot. Zombies meet by gun. Gun meet by zombies. Or meet the zombies. Huh. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah. That's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just turned <clears throat> it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. The bed. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What's this? Medical file? <clears throat> Anna Correa. So she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's like a tape. And then, ooh, video camera. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a set. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with us. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, looks like she got confirmed to be pregnant, and... Damn it, we almost had it. <clears throat> what the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Well, we found tape number one. <sighs> Let's leave the nurse's office and go look for tape number two. We're on the case. <clears throat> Okay, 
case you're wondering, or if you guys like it, that's my best lay voice. It's the best I can do with my lay voice. I hope it sounds pretty good. Practice. Didn't seem that hard for him to get into the alleyway, really. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. No, 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 I'm breaking off. Oh, God. What the? There's a TV, but. Who the heck dropped it on him? Could it have been Molly? Trying to crawl away. Come here, boy. Ugh. Not going in the garage. saying time to go Lee get out of there <clears throat> don't want to be there any longer than we have to be <clears throat> Ollie is still not back yet okay, that, that noise could get annoying This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it takes <clears throat> into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh gosh. No. She just stabbed him. No. <clears throat> Took his gun. Hmm. Hmm. That that sucked. He stopped the video. I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Hmm. We're out of business. <clears throat> Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go Sweet. on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. I didn't miss anything. <clears throat> Time to go. We got fuel, we got a battery, and we got medicine, but where the heck is Molly? She still has the battery. <clears throat> oh, 
Molly. Jesus Christ. Molly oh, scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? <clears throat> Sight change. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Molly? I'm just kidding. Oh, thank goodness. Let's say because... <clears throat> Here you go. We need the battery. We can't just get on a boat with fuel and medicine. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Oops. Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Wait a minute. The axe. <clears throat> um. Whoa, geez, geez. Oh. There. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. <clears throat> I found this. Uh, Ben. Uh, Ben. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, oh crap. Jeez, <clears throat> Molly's doing less than work. Time is about to run short. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next episode. Looks like we're going to vote on Ben.